Welcome to Paratopic. This is a short first person horror game. Let's just jump right in. I was really attracted to the aesthetic of this game. It's got this really nice early 3D sort of look to it. Alright, so you have an enemy, friendo. <laughs> friendo? What? We got a call about you. Undeclared goods, they said. I don't know what you're talking about. Then why did a concerned citizen feel the need to warn us about you? I'll say nothing. What? Nothing to say? I need to see my lawyer. You think you're so smart. We're pretty full up. Busy night and all. No cameras out here. You think your lawyer's gonna stop me from checking out these tapes? I want my lawyer. <laughs> Smugglers like you slip through the cracks all the time in processing. Nobody's gonna save you. I think maybe they shouldn't have watched the tapes. <laughs> yeah, the description for this game mentions something about someone trying to smuggle VHS tapes across the border. I'm here? Just about? Yes. You really have to ask? Yeah, I'm an outdoors woman. I wasn't sure whether I should speak the other side of that conversation because it sort of had voice acting. Demonic sounding voice acting though. Why is there a body outside that is being eaten by crows? What in the hell is going on? Have you said your mantra? The voice asked me. This doesn't even look human. Am I human? What are they? Looks like the R button. Puts them in. You will follow these instructions. You will not deviate. You saw what happened last time. You will be professional. So this is just happening on the other side of the bar, right? Or diner, whatever this place is. Look at the way their faces. Oh my god, what is happening with their face? Oh, it's horrifying looking. I mean, some of that is like the, the way their face kind of swims when they look side to side. That might just be the early 3D sort of look. But there's also more going on. There's more than just that. Their face is... Ugh. It's wrong. Why me? There are debts. They will be paid. They're not my debts. Three other look at 
They're yours now. We cleared this up twice. Be professional. Life works out better that way. Yes, sir. Good. A professional response. You won't be picking up the tapes here. We've left them in your apartment. We have a key. Oh, so this must be earlier. Setting up the smuggling of the tapes. You should have told us, though. About what? You don't need to play stupid with me. Oh. Yes, not a good look. We knew, of course, but we expect you to be professional with us. You must be completely open. I'm sorry. Tell us everything, every time, like a professional. Acquiesce. They're like dogs. Sometimes you have to throw them some scraps. We've given you some scraps to share. God, that face. Alright. Cross the border and deliver the goods to the regular places. Whatever you do, don't watch them. We'll know if you do. Yes, sir. Now there's no one here. So maybe I am the same person that was just over there. Just maybe this is later in the day. There was a camera on the table, though. I assume I have the camera. Am I going to be shooting something? Religious. Just put out the cigarette. What happened to the floor there? Looks like there's been an explosion. coming. Oh yeah, I think it said on the page that it was inspired by 30 Flights of Loving, which has that quick cut style. Something you don't often see in games. What happened in there? Some men were here earlier, got into your apartment, 
didn't recognize him. Ah, so this is even earlier. This is back when they, uh... Yeah, they said they had a key to our apartment, right? We've already been there, they said. Okay. Um... Mind keeping it between us? Sure, but I need a favor. Again? Just one. I'll keep quiet. Think about it. We'll see. I love the chunky polygons. I thought that'd be in my apartment. Wait, this is my... This is my apartment? What the hell? What kind of hellscape do we live in? This isn't livable. There's no fridge. There's no shower. tapes, isn't it? Oh, uh, you need something? Need another one. What, another tape? No. Fuck you. What's stopping you this time? I, I didn't know. You don't know shit. I'm not supposed to. You've always been good to me before. Come on. I'm starving. I really shouldn't. Reckon you don't want nobody hearing about your friends. Can't you watch the one I copied last time? Used it up. Just static now. You've got a whole lot there now, just one tape, and I won't say a thing. What the hell? What are these tapes? You used it up, just static now. What are they, like drugs? No, I can't. Who's gonna miss just one? They will. Don't be an idiot. They found out last time. You still owe me. You can't change my mind. I will. There's the tapes. Oh! Oh, I can actually, like, control the car. Slow down, speed up, steer. Yep.
friends in Quant Water, and the owners that get one of these um, red or a wrong. And mm -hmm. you're only sick of what you do. Haven't seen another car on the road. Called Toll Coleman. Oh, yeah. And um, a toll ran came to Hatalia in the day cave on the fall. But you called Walder Pulse. It's not called Tom Warren. Oh, 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 Tom but then if I really listen to it, I can't understand a damn thing. Yeah, I got a feeling that he will call up a camera. What they call Tatoran, it's called Tommy. Stopping for gas and snacks. It's a grim little gas station you got here. <laughs> Could use some more lighting. Find everything okay? I uh, need something to keep me awake. It's so cold again. Yeah? We got a 12 hour Spitfire, Beasley Bub, <laughs> and Auntie M's Old Remedy. Anyone you'd recommend? No, I'd go with Auntie M's. She makes it over in Rio Laredo. Local stuff then. Family too. No kidding. No kidding. What's it taste like? Ah, oh, she's got a lot of flavors. Strawberry, gooseberry, blackberry. Which one you want? Blackberry. Here you go. Anything else I can help you with? Where's the nearest place to eat before the border? Uh, nearest place open this late is Burger Bills. Closer to the border, you got more places. What do you like? Uh, pizza. There's a cluster of fast food places near near the place. Uh, Fieri's if you want chicken. The Joint if you're into pizza, and then the Taco Place if you want a place for tacos. Thanks. No problem. Anything else I can help you with? What are you reading? It's a book by Sai, some guy named Erich. It's about how aliens are better than us. <laughs> but aliens don't exist. That's what you think. That's what we're supposed to say, isn't it? Wink. Oh, right on, right on. I've seen aliens, you know. How do you know it was an alien? Well, I don't know for sure, but it didn't look like a person. You were saying they're better than us? Yeah, not just technologically, but also morally and spiritually as well. Morally? What makes them morally superior to us? Consider this. Rich people really seem to like butting into other people's business, right? Like, it's not just tax-exempt cynicism. So they do more than donate to charity? Yeah, successful people think poor people are stupid or morally inferior in some way. 
They perceive their success as a moral success, and the failure of others as a moral failing. Which means... That they feel they have the right to judge, and in some cases, shun people who are less fortunate than they are. Can you give me an example? It's a weird thing to say, but let's go with it. There was a disabled guy I knew who left some clothes out to dry because he'd spill, spilled water on himself. His landlord stole the clothes to teach him not to be messy. What the fuck? That's horrible. How do you know they just didn't want to keep their property clean? The hell kind of a thing is that to say? A better person would have understood my friend didn't have a way to dry his clothes and would not have stolen from him, making an already unfortunate person's life worse. What does this have to do with aliens? Aliens are all one tribe. They don't think of themselves as better than anyone, and they don't try to make anyone's life worse than it already is when the person is clearly in pain. So aliens possess empathy. And very few humans do. Ah. Will that be everything? I might be passing through late on my way back. Any place good to stay around here? Well, there's not much around here. Super 16 burned down a while ago. There's the Mesquite and the Ranchero. They're both down the highway a couple miles. Big signposts. Ordinary chains, really. Nothing special. The Super 16 burned down? Yeah. I always meant to stop there. That waffle sign, man. Oh yeah, best waffles in the county. Possibly the world. Getting hungry just thinking about it. Well, it ain't waffles, but you can buy four ounces of jerky for ten bucks. Local deer. It's a steal. I could make a filthy lie and say I'd rather eat pancakes. Um, nah, I get stuck in my teeth. I hear that. Your friend filling up out there still? Huh? Where are you headed? My friend. What? What friend? Um, lie. Gonna meet some friends for some buggy driving? Ch sure. Hmm. Used to have me one of them dune buggies. Can't wait to get back behind the wheel of one. Yep. Nothing like the rumble of the motor and the flutter in your heart when you take a jump. I hear that. Well, time for me to get going. What other person? Did they see another person? Whoa. So are we a photographer? Ah, look at the power line sway. Ooh. I can actually take pictures? Oh, heck yeah. I love the aesthetic in this game. Oh my god, yes. You got the relatively detailed trees up here, and then you got that just like... That line of 2D trees along the outside. I remember that. I'm trying to remember if this is more like PS1 or PS2 era graphics. I think more like PS1? I'm not sure. It's been so long. Oh, the trees even flutter in the wind, too. Let's get it so that the left side of the road kind of just looks like it goes on for infinity. 
goes all the way to the side of the picture. Like, how about that? Well, let's keep it in the center, actually. Yeah. Nice. Can I not get back in my car? Am I hiking the rest of the way? Oh, just teleported me back, I think. So what am I, what is my character trying to do? Are they really just sightseeing? Cause I've already taken some pictures. Are they trying to photograph something in particular? What am I going out here for? Oh, mouse wheel to zoom. Oh, sweet. Gotcha, little birdie. Hmm, it got yellow when I was over that. Like it, it's counting for something. This game is gorgeous. It's really pretty. Oh. Oh yeah, so each time I get one of those, it adds a little dot to the bottom right of the camera. I've got two out of six. Let's go check out this little shack. This game is really pretty. A couple cans and I'm not sure what that is. What is that? Is that like a scale? Got a light bulb hanging here. Is there actually a power line running to this place? Oh, hello. Nope. I love how there's different levels of pixelization. The sky is actually more pixely than everything else. It's really cool looking. It's kind of neat to watch the way that pixels march. The way they move and reform themselves when you just move the view slowly. Some old shipping containers. I wonder what they're doing out here. I feel like I've just been taking pictures of the same crow again and again. Let's get something different. See if we can get this red one. to get it. 
I love how this water looks. Looks like there's two layers. One layer that goes a little, little bit faster and one that goes slower. Adds a little bit of a 3D effect to it. How many more do I need? Two more. Oh, there's a windmill over here. I want to take a picture of the red bird, but I feel like once I get all the marks, it might uh, slam cut back to somewhere else. I want to make sure I get a good look at this place first. Look at this view. Some radio towers. 